Hi Capricorn, welcome to Wild Pearl Tarot. Welcome to your mid-month reading for June 2024. We're going to be getting messages today from Oracle as well as Tarot, but I want to say thank you. First of all, thank you so much for your support, your likes, your love, and I'm going to do everything I can in my power to give it right back. Just this big circle of love. <laughs> all right, you guys, I just got this cool Oracle deck. It's called um, Angels of Abundance. And uh, and then we're going to be getting some insight from the Divine Feather Oracle deck, then moving on to Tarot. Uh, if you guys would like for me to pray for you, of course, this offer always stands. Say hi in the comments section or simply an emoji where it works, something that I can focus my energy on that represents you. Go for it. Say hi. Let me pray for you. Let all of us pray for you. There's some really... <laughs> You guys are so cool. I just love like seeing when you guys chime in for each other and support each other in the comments section. It's just like it gives me shivers. That's what it's all about. All right, Capricorns, mid-month, June 2024. We've got two messages that came out for you from the... Oh my gosh, three. Y'all, it'd be disrespectful if I didn't listen. I I promise we are going to get to tarot eventually. Oh, okay, okay. Well, we got to get these to you first. So this is uh, the message of the ostrich from the Divine Feather deck. This is says, uh, the choice is clear for you now. Follow the wisdom and truth you feel in your heart. Then we have gratitude list, savings, and ask for your needs to be met. Interesting. I wouldn't be surprised if you got the collaboration card in tarot. So gratitude list. Counting your blessings and feeling gratitude for what you already have helps you be centered in your heart instead of fixed on worries in your mind. What and who are you grateful for now? Keep focusing upon gratitude and you'll discover the amazing generosity of the universe. Do you see a theme here? I see a theme and that is abundance is having your needs met, is having enough. We've got gratitude, asking for uh, abundance from the universe and we've got savings as you consistently save for your future your future is saved you do your future self a big favor as you consistently set aside present funds this is a part of your self-care and path to feeling secure as you focus upon your life purpose and if this is very literal for you even the it's more the act so even if it's setting two ducks i can hear some of you guys being like yeah it'd be nice to have funds to set aside because not everybody is rolling in dough not everybody has got consistent income right now so it's the act of it so let's say you have no money at all it's the act of setting something aside for yourself for later start with that even if it's putting your clothes out um, for you to wear for your future self tomorrow to wear if it's two dollars putting it on auto save two dollars a month i know that might be an eye roll for you it's the act of setting something aside for your future self ask for your needs to be met is the third message god and the angels can come to your aid only if you make a free will choice to be helped and it begins with asking it doesn't matter how you ask uh, but only that you do so the same holds true with clearly asking other people to assist you, again, with a collaboration energy. So asking of the universe, not being afraid to ask others to assist you in your goals and in your dreams. This will be an interesting tarot reading, you guys. Mid-June 2024, my Capricorns. Mid-June, what do they need to hear? What do they need to know? Of course, only take it if it resonates, you guys. These are general readings. You can always ask for a purple... Uh, uh, a, uh, sorry, a personal reading, but um, the general readings, you really need to listen to your own internal guide and take only what resonates, okay? So I forgot my Capricorns, mid-June. All right, we've got beautiful healing. This is, this is recovery, healing, six of swords. <sighs> Opening one's mind to new ideas eventually, that's where we're headed. Got a big judgment card, awakening in the center. This is kind of epic. 
Cool. So you've got good, I, I feel that the, you're going to feel the energy start to change. If you've been um, trying to recover from something, you're going to feel the wheel turning for you. This is a reminder that you are exactly where you need to be at the right time. So this is confirmation that you are on your way. And this is um, leaving any choppy waters, any chaos, um, any disturbances, basically. And you're going into smoother waters, that healing energy of Six of Swords. We do have the Five of Wands here. What does this represent, please, for Capricorn? Uh-huh. Standing by your convictions. It's huge. Hindsight's 2020. You're going to look back and be so grateful you did. And this is particularly regarding growth in an area, most likely with your finances. If you guys are trying to... Um, if you're competing in a new field of expertise with a new business or a new um, trying to generate generate new income, if there's research involved, cert certifications, education, anything that requires you to learn more and to get over a learning curve or a hump, know this: you're going to be so grateful you stuck with it. There is the, the five of wands is in the face of competition or conflict for some of you guys. Keeping on the research, the growth with the page of pentacles in order for to, to be rewarded later. Usually this is a financial reward, okay? And standing by your convictions, believe in yourself. Just stay stay with it. Now we've got the energy picking up. We've got the chariot card. Okay, picking up with the chariot card. What is this? Things are picking up. The energy is picking up. We have Hermit card. You're coming into a, a louder energy. You're coming into a more um, external energy, um, making movements, actions, coming from a quiet place of recovery into a louder place of action. You may be leaving something behind. For some of you guys, this is an old jobs, uh, an old job, um, something or something that kept you in a place of depravity, a place of defense, of needing to save every pinch, every penny. And um, this is, it was not yielding the results that you'd hoped for, for the amount of effort you put in. You'd rather take your chances on greener pastures and those hills, take it on faith. And so action follows. You've had your fair share of um, confusion, of reprioritizing things, of not knowing what's around the corner. Now, jumping into the unknown, but willingly, because it's your choice, you're not being forced, you're not being pushed. It's like you are, this is growth because you're choosing growth. And sure, sure there's some unpredictability there, but when your gut and your instinct says, no, take that leap, because what's around that blind corner is much better than what you've been sinking all your time and effort into. You listen to your intuition, right? Here we have... Ah! Okay, so we had that big judgment card. This is reawakening. This is like a bit... Judgment is a big um, wake-up call and it's a change in your life. And you're being called to answer that. You're being called to answer the call. That sounds dumb, but I know what you, that you know what I mean. The Six of Pentacles, this is reciprocity. Getting back what you put in. And there's passion, enthusiasm ignited here. Excitement. Oh boy, it's going to feel super great to be excited about what you're doing again. It's going to feel so good. Just feel it. Seven of Pentacles. We do have... What is this energy? Wonderful. There's a sense of there's a sense of timing being really important here. Sticking by your convictions, staying on your path, even when your path leads you away from what you originally thought it was going to be. When you do that, and what's going to give you real perspective, sorry, I don't want to throw us off here, but I have to say what's going to give you real perspective is at some point there's been a pause. And you've had this in some previous readings. I mean, like check back in the beginning of the month, this month, and even in the end of, of last month, it's you've had this pause to reflect. 
And from that place, you are really powerful when you move forward. You're going to be very victorious in this. I feel like a lot of you guys are going to, you guys are embracing some um, extroverted qualities. Like you're going to be seen, you're going to be in the limelight, other people are going to be recognizing you. Um, any leadership skills are going to be present. Uh, people are going to be recognizing your strength and confidence as you move forward. And this is a transition all the way back from this healing, this recovery period. Remember that you have the karmic card to the wheel exactly where you are right now. That's exactly where you're meant to be because this is where you're going. Some of you guys might be tra uh, traveling. Some of you guys are just making plans. When your ships come in, you're having victory here. The transition card, um, the temperance. So there is this balance is absolutely key. And your mind is going to be starting to open to new communications and ideas. We have page of swords, page of cups, enthusiasm. But there is a scarcity mindset that you are going to have to be um, stepping away from. And it's, it's partly these eight of cups, like it's, you're getting it again, right? Like you're getting some of the same things right here. We have the four of pentacles with a two of pentacles. We have the four of pentacles with a two of pentacles. This is coming out with faith of like, I'm, you're transitioning um, into something new and you might feel like an amateur with it. And um, there's a little bit of like, I don't know, I don't know, I could fall back on something that has not necessarily yielded me the results I wanted, but at least I'm familiar with it. Or I take this leap into the unknown, I've got a learning curve, I'm gonna, ha I'm gonna be a little uncomfortable, but there's a lot of growth potential in it. Um, yeah, there's like, allow, now just go with me on this adventure. I'm gonna tell you a couple, I'm gonna say a couple sentences, see how it feels. Um, what if you fully embrace being the novice at something? What if you fully embrace the enthusiasm, the childlike enthusiasm, and be like, yeah, I'm the amateur in the room, super stoked to be here. Yeah, like embrace it and just let that energy, that youthful energy carry you along, that creative spark and like fully owning that enthusiasm like a child does. Um, and... Uh, that's going to re reinvigorate you um, because you're leaving something that was old and worn out, right? Like it's gonna, who cares if you're new at it? Who cares if, like, of course, you gotta be new at something <laughs> for change. Like for change to actually successfully happen, you have to embrace that change means something new is coming along, right? So allowing this new thing to come along and and, uh, you know, it's, it looks really good. The Knight of Cups was buried in there between the two of pentacles, the juggling, maybe a little confusion, and this, the protection of the four of pentacles, like keeping your dimes, your nickels and dimes close to you being, um, that's the sign of the hoarder. And it's, it's a defensive energy, right? You, of course, right? But in between those two is this opportunity, a messenger. And if this is a, a career reading or prod, you know, like if you, this is about what your purpose is and your career is going, this is creative energy. This is something that's going to emotionally satisfy you and give you a sense of emotional and spiritual purpose as well. Okay. Um, if for some reason this is resonating in a relationship reading, this is straight up somebody handing you their, their lovey cup, you know? But you've got an offer here waiting for you. But Ten of Swords upside down. There's this, um, there's after this recovery period, there's this um, beckoning of will you embrace the new as a child does? You know, will you embrace new ideas, fresh thinking? And uh, along with that, there's this enchantment that comes along with it all, um, this playful quality. All right, you guys, I hope that was helpful. I'm sending you love and light, and I'll talk to you soon. Mwah.